Dear students, I welcome you all to this digital electronics tutorial series. In this video, we will solve a problem. This problem is design a logic circuit that has three inputs A, B, and C. These are the three inputs. And the output will be high. That means the condition is given that the output will be high only when majority of the inputs are high. Okay. Output will be high. That means if we consider output is equal to y, output is high when majority of the input is high. Majority of the input means majority of the a, comma b, comma c are high. So what do we understand? This is the condition given. We have to derive the Boolean expression. Then we have to design the logic circuit or we have to draw the output function in terms of input using logic gates. Okay. So first of all, let us understand the condition. We have three inputs A, B, and C. When we say majority of the inputs are high, that means whenever we have any two of the inputs, any two of these three inputs are high or logic one, then the output will be high. Here we can write Y is equal to when we have suppose A and B are high, suppose C is zero also, irrespective of the value of the C, the output will be high. So we can write here a b so this is the first term plus when we have b and c are high suppose irrespective of the value of a then the output also will be high because we can we are told that majority of the inputs that means out of these three inputs we must have two inputs high so the second term will be b c whenever we have b and c value is equal to one then the output will be equal to one okay plus the third we can say that a and c are high then also output will be one so we can write here a c and the fourth term will be when all these a b and c are high because see majority means it does not mean only two will be high then only output will be one majority means either two value or either two of the inputs are high or all the three inputs are high okay so here we have another term that is a b and c okay so this is the expression now we have to minimize it we can write it as a b plus b c plus a c if we take a c common from this this term and this term what will happen one plus b okay so we can again write it as a b plus b c plus a c why one plus b will be equal to one one plus anything one plus zero equal to one one plus one is equal to one so this is our operation you have to keep in mind okay so using this this value will be equal to one so here we have got this output expression so this is the shortcut method or we can say that this is a method number one now let us go with our alternative method so here we can write so in the method number two we will find out the truth table and from there we will find out the expression so here we have three inputs a b and c these are the three inputs output is y so for this three inputs we will have eight number of different combinations so here we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 one one zero and one 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 these are the eight different input combinations and for this we have to find out which of the condition will give the output or which of the inputs will give the output equal to one so in the question we are given that whenever we have majority of the inputs are high then the output is one so here we can see in the first case majority of the inputs are not high here in the first case all the values are zero so the output will be zero in the second case we have only single input is high therefore the majority of the input is high condition is not satisfied this is also zero in the third case also similar it is zero in the fourth case we have zero one one that means two out of three input variable have one value so the output will be one in the fifth case we have only one value out of the three inputs is equal to one therefore it is zero that means majority of the inputs are not high okay in the sixth case we have two of the three inputs are high therefore the output will be one so in the seventh case we also have here 
output is equal to 1 because 2 out of the 3 inputs are high and in the 8th case we have all the inputs are high so we will be having output equal to 1 because we can say that majority of the inputs or all of the inputs are high here so output will be equal to 1 so we have got this truth table so from here we can find out the expression for y so for this first output one we have input is 0 1 1 that means we can write it is a bar b c now let us see the second one so for this one we have input is 1 0 1 that means we can write here a b bar c plus the third input we have to see for this output 1 1 0 that means a b c bar okay fourth output one so here we have input is one 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 so here we can write a b c okay now from this first term and this last term we can take b c common so what will have a bar plus a one plus one plus one equal to one zero plus zero plus zero is equal to one in case of boolean algebra so we are just we are writing three times a b c okay so we have got the first expression now let us consider this one and this one we can take a c common so we will be having b bar plus b we can now consider the third term and the last sixth term so from here we can take a b common so here will be having c bar plus c so from here we can get b c plus a c plus a b so this is the output expression and this is the minimized output expression because in the question we are given that we have to simplify the boolean expression so here you can see simplify the boolean expression now we have to design the logic circuit so how we can design the logic circuit we can use and get or gets and we have the three inputs a b and c and output is y so let me write down here these are the three inputs a b and c and the outputs we have to find out now so let me draw some lines a line this is b line this is c line okay so from here we can take the inputs first term we have let me write down here y is equal to a b plus b c plus c a because you can see here we have used two methods and using two methods we have got the same answer or the same output expression for y a b plus b c plus a c or a b plus c a c also we can write it as c a okay so these are the three inputs a b and c so first time is a b so take a line from a take a line from b we have the n operation so use a n get here and here we have a a b now we have b c so take input from b take input from c and you say n get here and here we get b c and the third term is c a okay so take input from c take input from a and we have to use a n get here and here we have a c okay and these three terms these three min terms are in addition so we have to use a or get Okay, three input or get we can use here so here this will be the inputs of these or gets okay a b plus b c plus c a so here we'll be having y y equal to a b plus b c plus c a so we have designed this logic circuit so this is the solution of this given problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you